So I was recording all sorts of odds and ends for a Tracks and Beats season closer. And, uh, and I thought to myself, I'm not really done. I'm, I've got, I think I've got one more thing that I need to do. Hello friends, Colonel Failure, Transport Fever 2, Metropolis, nil. Uh, and, uh, and we're here at uh, Alpha Complex, just because it felt like a... Look at all of the people moving over there. That's ridiculous and beautiful. Everything is ridiculous and beautiful, rather like myself. Now, you see, normally after an intro, I move to a different shot, but I was really rather taken with this one. I think this is rather a splendid place to hang out, but we're not going to hang out here much longer, uh, despite the fact that this is pertinent to what we're going to be doing today. Uh, what we're going to be doing is... Uh, we're going to be... Adding the one thing we don't have. There's two things we don't have, but one of the things I'm not going to add. Uh, the thing we don't have that we're going to add, passenger shipping. Yeah, yeah, we're going to put in a little ferry service uh, running from Mega City 1 here, yes, that we're looking at with our faces, uh, and we're going to run it just over the gap here into there. Yeah, you kind of go, well, that's not going to work. You kind of go, yeah, no, no, it will, it will, it'll work. It'll, it'll work. It, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll work. My original plan, which I may now be revising, but I haven't yet, is uh, is beef up the land here, uh, slap a port on it, connect it up to this road, connect that road up to the main transport network here so people can easily get to the station. Because that way we'll be, uh, we'll be routing more people onto the loops around the disto burbs. They don't make money. That's the reason that I'd like to do it. But the reason they don't make money is because they're travelling such short distances in an inefficient way. Uh, it's very difficult for them to make cash. I'm going to click on this guy and he'll be making profit. See? See, he's in profit. But he's got 60 capacity. He's only got 10 passengers on board. And when he loads up here, he's, only, he's not going to do very much. But I don't know why I'm anthropomorphising it by giving him a gender. But there you go. Apparently so. 36 out of 60. No, 39 out of 60. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not, that's not dreadful. But he's not going very far. That's the problem. All of these little hop-on, hop-off services by rail, they don't do you many favours at all. So I'd quite like to try and beef that up a little bit. Equally, this whole area down here is very underserved. It is. And it doesn't have a connection over to the other side beyond the, the bridge over there. Well, maybe I could I could fix both at the same time. More likely is you'll fix neither and make a mess. Cool. Right, let's do it. Uh, so, first things first, kill that lot. Because uh, we're going to need to make this uh, this water side effort slightly water -sidey. Uh So, if we uh, whip it around. Now, that's the level we need to get down to. Can I, if I were to, uh, if I were to shove you up, it's not interested in being shoved up or otherwise. Then we're going to have to make adjustments to this layout that we've got going on there. But actually, it being lower down serves us a benefit because I think if if I were to take out the track here, lower quite a lot of this stuff, and then build up a road underneath it, it will make for quite an easy transit point. So I'm just going to smash this in there and then make the rest of the landscape work with it. Do you know what you've done there? I put in a little small boat place, didn't I? You could run small boats. Yes, but what passes for a small boat these days? Where's my existing, uh, my existing port? It'll be over at the uh, at the the big freight island. Uh, it's over here. I may or may not use this. I don't know. Uh, by vehicles, yeah. Passenger, yes. Small, small. Okay. Ah, motor yachts. Oh, what about a Kleiner Seagull yacht? Ah. Oh. You know what? I'm not opposed to a, a Kleiner Sagal yacht. No. Or the Explorer. Or the Darman Ferry, which holds 100 people. No, maybe not the Darman Ferry. Uh, I, you know what? I could put I could put all sorts. I could put the Kleiner Motor Yacht, the uh, Kleiner Sagal Yacht, and the Explorer Yacht on there as well. I could have one of each. Then people can just jump on whichever one they fancy. I think it's going to be... It's going to do absolutely nothing in terms of profit... But it might scoop up the occasional passenger, which is a nice thing to do. 
Okay, well, there we go. I've, I've made a decision there. Right, now, let's uh, let's knock out this track. I know many people are going to be saddened by that, but I'm going to knock it back in again presently. Take it back as far as about there. Yeah, nope, accidentally took out someone's house. But, I mean, to be fair, there was a high chance that house wasn't going to make it the distance anyway, so I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all relative. Uh, right, there we go. Now, let's start cranking this no i'm gonna grab here yeah and then that's ah, the ticket right now i don't know how i'm gonna make this work uh, other than quite a lot of bulldozing over here but evidently the end uh, the uh, the ai wants to build over there so i'm just gonna make that that life easier for him uh, yeah it's uh we'll, we'll we'll see how we go this might end up looking all right it might end up looking rotten but that's that's what happens every time you do anything. So, you know, why worry about it? Just get on with it and see where uh, where the chips fall when you're done. Okay, now I do want to hook up to this piece of road here because the intention is that we ferry people up to the station, you see. So, it's <laughs> ferry. <laughs> no, it's unintentional, which is why it isn't funny. Um, uh, yeah. See, look, there you go. A bit of smoothage. Yes. And then, uh, and then something with roads. Good, yeah. Something with roads is is in, invariably going to be a positive. Uh, we'll we'll only go with the uh, the standard size medium roads here and see if that works for us. Stick that in there. Yep. And then, oh, well, that's no, no, that, that's clearly not what I want. There you go. Right now, and then do a bit of that. Okay, then think about, are you going to get some rail over the top of that? Yes, if I go over the top here, kind of between this tree gap, that should stay bridged. Uh, then just adjust this corner slightly to uh, to receive it at the other end, and everything should be peachy. All right, okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine. No, no, this whole, this whole caper came about because I went like, I don't think I've. I, I think I've still got a little bit more to uh, to exploit on this map. Um, it's a nice map. I really like it, uh, which is fortunate given that I've been stuck here for you know thirty five odd videos uh, of uh, of dubious repute. Um, no, it's it it's got a, it's got enough of everything to uh, to make for a good challenge and an opportunity to to build something a bit interesting here and there now i mean you've got to play it a little bit fast and loose as far as keeping uh you know, keeping mountains intact uh, i mean building the the big freight island at gotham for example uh that was a monstrous amount of terraforming that was done there but i think it's come out really well so uh conclusion yeah, <laughs> conclusion indeed. Right, let's let's slap the track in. Uh, slap track 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 slap. Uh, uh, catenary, yes. And then uh, off to see the wizard. Right, here we go. Let's see how we get on. Uh, it's not bad. It's just decided to put a pillar in an awkward place, but I think we can uh, we can address that just by sliding back some. Slide back some, would you? There you go. See, see. Wait, 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 there. No, wait, no, wait, wait, no. Come on, you did it a moment ago. I saw you there. That's the ticket. You know what? That is the ticket. All right, accept. Thank you. You see, that's, that's something that experience teaches you. If you don't like what it tells you the first time around, fiddle with it a bit and it'll go, well, I've had a look. And actually... Here's a really terrible corner. Ah, uh, yeah, you see now. But now that I've got, now that I've got those bridge posts in pillars, yeah. The problem is they shift every time you do any any more work to it. I don't want to make this a super slow corner. Sixty plus would be fine. Seventy one. Yeah, that's it. That'd be great. Because obviously we run HST up there, and you don't want to be mucking around with that too much. Want to keep it. Want to keep it cruising as much as it's close to its destination. No. Right, stick a cheeky signal there because I knocked out some signals that were in there for spacing purposes. So we'll put those back in. That's that happy. And it looks like it's always been there, which is even better. Yep, when the dinosaurs were rolling around, you kind of go, ah, oh, yeah, there was a bridge in there at one point. 
And we've cr created a supplemental connection. Supplemental? Supplementary. A supplement connection uh, to, uh, to part of the town. It's not a great one, though. No. Does this actually go anywhere? Uh, yeah, you have to wait until you get over here, and then it's so desperate to connect up to the other side, it sends two roads immediately. Surely there must be another way we can do this. Uh, I, I, I could get there by starting about here and plunking in a tunnel. You reckon? I reckon it'll be close. I don't know for, for sure that it'll work. But you do that, and then a little bit of this. You're in. And it's, that, was only, that was only downhill once as well. Make it flipping so, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good ish now i i clocked this corner while tracks and beatsing as you can see there is a high likelihood of uh of that not going well for people so i think we'll just do a quick reshape here while we're out uh, while we're out uh, yeah get rid of it yeah 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 now the thing is i built that that road and that track and therefore, I should have clocked it at the time. But evidently, that was not something that happened. Now it's going to be ruined by people building little houses. Uh, the, the other thing that I spotted while uh, while recording glamour shots uh, was the number of trees that interfere with the track that I haven't placed. No, and weren't there originally. No, it's off the back of some prat building his house planting a tree in the back garden and it overlapping with the track and you just kind of go oh you flaming galah uh and you go well yeah but what are you going to do well not a lot i mean I, every time i bulldoze their house they just build the flipping thing back again there seems to be precious little point in it all right there you go just a bit of gentle smooth it out some yeah 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 that was smooth it out some yes with an m Quite often, I'll say, smooth it out, son. See, in a uh, in a colloquial kind of a fashion. Very hard to tell the difference between the two if I, if you're just listening at pace. I just thought I'd point it out to you because I observed it, and and frankly, the uh, the quest for commentary is an ongoing one. Right. Okay. We've got bus stop. We've got route linkages. I think we've I think we've achieved everything we set out to achieve here, and we've done it in about fifteen minutes. Um, yeah, that's not ideal, is it? Now nah, we'll spend the next half an hour riding on a boat. <laughs> yeah, okay. The, the other thing that we haven't covered in this series that I want to cover, or I don't want to cover, but I probably will do now that I've got time on my hands, is freight by plane, which is, there's no point. There is no point to it. I would have to have that freight shipped to Gotham in some fashion. Or, or worse still, out to uh, Industoria, and I can't see a, I can't see an easy way of doing that. Since when did easy ever hold you back? Oh, look at this! This is crying out for another bit of road, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I can hear it in my head going. Oh, well, another bit of road. Sorry, would be tower block. Your forfeit, and also this lot needs to connect up a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, it's eighty-three million. It'll be right. Don't you worry. There you go. Do you want to get rid of that? No, not really. Because um, then you're talking, you know, proper, genuine, actual tower blocks in there. Okay. All right. And then maybe fan that junction out over this way. All right. So I see you're using London street planning. I am. Which is not so much planning as it's just where peasants decided to plonk something 500 years ago. Right, there we are. That'll, that'll figure, figure something out. People will go, oh, some prime real estate, and all it cost was everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's ugly, but it's good. Yeah. This is remarkably ugly, and I wouldn't even go so far as to say it's good. It's just an eyesore. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I wanted to do a town redevelopment, I could do, but... I mean, I've got I've got twenty one billion in the bank. I mean, it, I am not short on a few groats, uh, and yet I don't want to spend any groats. Right, uh, bus stops more, please. Uh, let's go for you know, your buildings. Yeah, bus stops. We'll put some in here. Half the purpose of this is just to try and fatten up the uh, the passengers that are go trying to come through here. And then where would you go? 
Well, I think you could do a brand new route that is just a little ping pong route between places that are not already served by the uh, the loop station. Yeah, so you'd what want to go to the city centre and then maybe ah oh, no maybe we'll just go out to night city sidings and back again. It's a weird one. Where does the existing commuter line run? The uh, Disto Burb Zerus commuter. Oh, hold on. Have I got? Have I got out and back? I have. I've got out and backs already. Oh well, that settles it. The Disto Burbs Gaslands commuter seems to have an awful lot of passengers waiting, and only two buses. So uh, let's clone those. There you go. Uh, that'll that'll liven it up a little bit, uh, and then we'll 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 slap in a fresh route. So I think if we go from the bus station here in Night City uh, and then wend our way round to Victoria Street, no stops, uh, maybe we stop here at the Grove. That's a good one. Stop at the Grove, come round under here, stop there, stop here, then we just need a turnaround point. Or do you? That's in a really nice place. You could just go straight back again. Ooh, okay, yeah, good, right, smashing, make it happen. Uh, new line, thank you. You figure eighting this? Yeah, I think I probably am. Uh, right, and we set over here at the Grove, and then over here to Victoria Street. Make sure it's not doing something weird. It isn't, except on the return leg, but that doesn't count. Then out to there, and then we, uh, we zip back under in the way that nature intended. Uh, so we'll go back to Night City. Oh, yeah. And then out to North Street, which is going to need probably a more zesty name. Uh, Victoria Street, and then the Grove. Why the Grove? Why not the Grove, friends? Um, I find that by... Uh, what works quite nicely is having a, a, an overlappy bus stop, because you'll find that the converging routes there end up chunking it full of passengers, so you end up being a bit more profitable. Uh, so, right, we're on the Disto, yeah, Burbs, right you are, uh, the Port, uh, Runner. Cool. Right, do you want to slap some vehicle on that? Yeah, I've got to go and find a depot. Here's one. Right, cool. What do you want to stick on that? Passengers. Well, obviously passengers, but which which passengers? Uh, the Pointer Mini Dart carries 15. Yes. Or the uh, Alexander ALX 400, which has 14. Oh, yes, go there. Yes, yeah, double decker it. Let's go travel Coventry. Ah, uh, yeah, Coventry doesn't get anywhere near enough love. Uh, let's stick four on there because I'm optimistic. Did you set them somewhere? No, I didn't yet. Uh, Disto Burbs Port Runner, please. There you go. This makes. Disto Burbs, the uh, the world champion when it comes to uh, having road transport. We'll just go and watch them leave the depot. Not a lot of cars and quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of public transport going on. I know there are cars. I didn't say there weren't any cars. I said not a lot of cars. If there were a lot of cars, this whole place would be gridlocked. Yeah, wieners. Um, right. Smashing. What's this? Appears to be an erroneous piece of track. Crazy with a level crossing. Mm, I don't think that level crossing's ever. You know what? I'm leaving that as a tourist attraction. I don't know why is that there. Well, I don't know, but it is. Yeah, when the when the lights flash, be sure to stop. The lights never flash. That's going to be in the tourist book. That one, obviously, this is nowhere near big enough. Let's uh, let's make this a bit bigger, shall we? If I've got the space, which is by no means certain. Can we? Yep. Can we? Yep. And yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. This is this is working. Yeah, work it. Yeah, they are right now. Let's just tweak the terminals a bit. Oh, crumbs. Oh, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing this flipping scrolling business. No, it's already picked it up. It's already sent. No, it's not. It's not sending anyone to one. Oh, okay. Well, which is the full one? Uh, Gaslands commuter. Okay, Gaslands commuter. Right, terminal one for you. Yeah, it doesn't want to do it. It's too busy pulsing. All right. Well, can I extend the size of this window? How about no? Disturbance. Gaslands. Gas. Yeah. Set it to terminal one. 
Has it done it? Uh, maybe a bit. It sent quite a lot of things over to Terminal 1. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? But then there is quite a lot of things going on here. Yeah, is it, are we still overflowing? A bit? No, just leave it to work itself out. Are, we, are all terminals in use? Yes. Then get over yourself. Done. Maybe, maybe extend Terminal 1 with a, a, another little bit of platform. Two bills are already removed. All right, well, we don't want to do that narrow angle. Well, it's your hard cheddar than uh, two buildings that will be removed. Maybe that's in a, I don't know what scale of building I just removed. Possibly a large one. Uh, see, that looks all right. Right, and then we'll just uh, we'll just bung in some trees to make that look uh, flamboyant. Yeah, yeah. Add some nature. Oh uh, yeah. All right, there you are. See. It's a pleasing environment. It's a moment of tranquility in amongst the hustle and bustle of a major conurbation. Sherma Farm's been abandoned. Well, it sucks to be them. Uh, right, I want to ride this. I've got one passenger on board. Now, obviously, right now, this is going to do nothing because uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Well, it does, but there's nothing. There, there's no reason for going out there. There's Steve. Oh, it's me a ten. Um... And, uh, yeah, we'll follow this follow this golf as we go out towards the Grove. Oh, yeah, yeah if, you, if you wanted a bit of casual ride-along, I think you've come to the right episode. There's going to be a fair bit of casual ride-along going. The question's going to be, am I going to make those boats come out of the main shipyard, or shall I place another shipyard that's a little closer? Yeah, no one got on board there. They kind of go, but why would I? You're clearly crazy. I kind of go, yeah, well, yeah, crazy is as crazy does. Wieners. Um, yeah, good. Where are we going? This is a, you know, some, something of a curious route. Here's my new road that goes under the rail. No, it's not. No, it's not, is it? That's a bit of road that the AI has built. It's not completely dreadful. This was one you were griping about a few moments ago because it was completely dreadful. Oh, yeah. All right, it is completely dreadful. This piece of road here was clearly built by me because it's a straight line. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Any passengers? Anyone? Nope. Good times. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And then we'll go through the tunnel and then we'll, we'll, we'll set some boats in motion. It's going to be very exciting. Well, I, mean, I hope it's going to be very exciting. Look at this. This is perilous. We're on a double-decker. The, clear, the clearance there is maybe not what you might want. There are a few passengers here, though. Almost some. Hey. All right, jump off. I thought we were going to go through the tunnel. All right, yeah, all right. Here we go. Nice tunnel. Not really designed for a double-decker, but there it is. Right, okay, I've done that now. All right, okay. You can all relax. That's the that's thing that's being done. Um, actually, I want to check the clearance on this bridge. Oh, you got miles, miles of clearance. It's fine, fine. Next job, right, is to go build the other end. And we're gonna want that to work as well. Now we've got the tram service that operates in Mega City One, and obviously we're, ah, oh, hold on. I'm changing my mind on obviously. I was about to say, obviously we're going to need some public transport out there to get people to go to the docks. That's still true. However, it then occurred to me, you don't have to settle for the island being this shape. So I'm not going to. Right, pause is on. And then we're going to we're going to shave this back. We're going to build a little inlet bay kind of thing here. Yeah, because I say so. Alright, grab this. Yeah. And then let's party. Okay. Partying is occurring. Alright, a little inlet bay. You start with is you start with right. I know you look at it going. Well, that looks terrible. Yeah, I know. I know it looks terrible, but it won't when I'm finished with it. It will look awful. Okay, it won't look terrible. And no, I'm not leaving a little island this time around. I like doing little islands, obviously, but they yeah, they can seem a bit forced. And and unless you go to the effort of building a seawall around the outside, and then you know, tarting it up significantly. It ends up looking a little bit... 
like uh, I mean I've spent my time doing a fair bit of mockery of the old high detailing folk but only because I'm not very good at it and uh, actually no I take that back uh, not that I am very good at it rather that anybody can be good at it it just takes time uh, and lots of it and and you've got to do way more than you think you need to do. You can't just dab in a couple of bits and pieces and expect it to look glorious. Uh, it's one of those cases where more is more. Uh, and the more you do, the better the result ends up looking. This is very far off where we need it to be. Yeah, I know, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll put this in. Twizzle, please. And then we'll, we'll do exactly what we did last time, which is we will adjust the surrounding landscape to match. Well, I, where I was going was this looks okay. No, it doesn't. It looks terrible. That, yes, that's what I mean. Uh, this looks terrible, uh, but given the application of enough time, it could be made to look pretty good. Uh, I mean, even just choosing how much of the surround to, to smooth out some makes a bit of a difference. You can't get away from the fact that this sort of voxelish landscape business was is going to leave you with jagged edges. Can't get away from it. That's a limitation of the game. You can work with it by by following the grid, such as there is a grid. Uh, but you know, I mean, but that that will significantly limit what you're actually able to do. How are we looking here? Not a hundred percent awful. Now I do want to run the tram out here. That's going to hurt the uh, the productivity of the trams, which is great. So I think the, the solution is going to be add an additional tram to encompass the route. Maybe, maybe even add an additional anything. You don't know, do you? No, I don't. I just I just said words. All right. So are you going to... I, I, uh, the question becomes, am I going to build out a full area here for the, uh, for the AI to hopefully build on? Or do we hope that the simple fact of the existence of this place will entice people to move in. That's a little on the steep side. Well, it's going to be. The other, I mean, the other alternative is you wind your way coastally, going up slowly, and then hook onto the big fat parallel road that goes with the train and with the airport. Yeah. Also, I think you make this a second line. I don't think you keep it as a. Uh, as, I don't think you branch out from your existing tram setup. Just make this a separate line, and uh, and see how we go. Because you've got a you've got a tram terminal going on. Yeah. Don't know. Let's have a let's have a quick look. Right. You've got a tram terminal going on there. Yeah. With your tram depot. Yeah. And you've got a stop, and a stop. Okay, well, you could go out here, maybe put in another stop here, and then head out to the terminal. Oh, you're going to ruin the synchronicity of the two trams that run on here, though. Uh, I shall sh Hang on, I'm just going to show you the synchronicity. I'm near certain that it won't have uh, it won't have broken out of out of order. There are exactly two trams. They're doing a figure eight, uh, but. Uh, but historically, they've always turned up here at pretty much exactly the same time. Look at this. How cool is that? And by inserting a third tram into the mix there, I think we're going to wreck it, Ralph. Yeah. Well, you know, some things were not meant to last. This is, look at this, this has got a... This is filling you full of glue. Look at all of these people wanting to get on an aeroplane. Fantastic. Oh, that's great. My, my airline has always been relatively uh, relatively profitable, so I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, right, let's put in a tram station. Station, depot, station, station. Uh, just a quick turnaround kind of job. Tram station, medium. Just a small one would be, would be fine. Small is, you know, something compact and bijou. But we'll do it here. I mean, the obvious would be to do it there. But that rather precludes further AI building. Although it looks so good that I think we'll, we'll go with that. And then the AI can figure it out for itself if it can be bothered building out here. All right. Something about that. 
Yeah, good. Oh, sounds like something big fell off. Uh, right, good. So let's plumb this one in as well. New line. Yeah. From MC1. Uh, you, you were going to put in another stop. I am going to put in another stop. You also need to electrify the, uh, the streets there. Electric streets? You, you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. Uh, right. About here? Yeah. Yeah, that's good coverage. Without cannibalisation. Coverage without cannibalisation. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, that. No, this. No, that. Yes. Upgrades with electric tram tramatraco, please. Get to work. Yeah. All right, and then we're we're working our way out onto the onto the main line there. So about here, or deliberately avoid that bit. Yeah, yeah, let's deliberately avoid that bit and come in this way. Okay, maybe that will pan out for us. Maybe it won't, but we will just have to see. Right, get back on this action. Hello there. All right, add station. This one, yeah, and then that one. It is going to disrupt the beautiful flow of the existing tram stuff. But I think it's going to be worth it. Right, what's this even called? It's Mega City 1. Mega, yeah, City 1. Uh, yeah, Port Side Glory. Because reasons. Uh, right, what are you putting on there? Two, one, two, two. Okay, now, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Let's time this correctly. If I time this well, I don't know. It depends whether the whether the round trip is about the same as the one that's running already. Because if it is, and I wait until these two trams are a good distance away from the terminal here, then maybe it all works out and we have two sets of, uh, of glamour. Uh, we'll go with these again. We'll, we like to stay consistent. Right, and then set that on the MCO portside glamour. Glamour! Oh, that's a nice name. Nah, it's, uh, it's, I'm over it. You've you've clearly ignored your own advice there. Oh, stuff it! It will either work or it won't. Dias anybody's guess. Yeah, and they've damn they've set off in different directions. Oh, I saw a disaster, but it's not so much of a disaster as I think it's disastrous. Right, last thing to do is to wang in. You've made a right dog's dinner of the... No, that's uh, underground earthquake has clearly happened. Uh, uh, some lunatic with the smoothing gun has clearly happened. You should sort that out. No one will see it. It's under the water. You've, just li you've literally just looked straight at it. All right. Mega City 1 port, Night City port. Yeah, 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 yeah. What should we call this? Uh, this we'll call this the uh, the Night City Cruiser. Now, are you going to use just one type of boat, or are you going to mix and match? Well, look, profitability says one type of boat, right? But uh, ooh, that's interesting. Says mix and match. All right, what are you going to go for? I think we go, ooh, that's interesting. All right, where are you going to put the dock, the, the dry dock? Uh, I want it somewhere out of the way. Over here would do would do just fine. Yeah, this is unbuildable, so this, this might as well do the job. Uh, give me this, bit of that, one of these, lovely job. Uh, spin it around, like Kylie. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where you used to go for your Kylie Minogue references, but today you're getting one here. Enjoy it. Uh, right, okay, and buy some vehicle. Uh, small boats. We will go with Kleiner motor yacht, five passengers, very quick. We'll buy two of those, yeah, because I reckon we'll use them. Uh, keep going, I haven't finished shopping yet. We'll go with Kleiner sailboat, yeah, which has uh, 15 capacity. We'll just have one of those. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, and then the Explorer yacht, which is 34 miles per hour and 18 capacity. We'll go with two of those, just in case there's any demand at all. And then we'll slap all... This is not going to work out well for us. 
In fact, it wouldn't surprise me. I would not be amazed if this didn't work at all, full stop. I think, I think there is a high chance that passenger folk are just going to be ruddy baffled at what it is that I'm offering. I'm going to jump on one in a moment. Uh, let's go with Johnny Speedboat here. Right, here we go. Yeah, because with, with Johnny Speedboat, we will be able to do some overtake. I realise I'm at high speed. I'm just letting things disperse somewhat. And, uh, and then we'll move. Hang on. Did I buy three of these? Well, there's another two over there. Am I not attached to the front of my boat? You're not attached to the front of your boat. Ah, right, okay. Oh, you're now on board. No, I'm not. I'm still miles away. I couldn't honestly tell you what was going on. Anyway, there we go. We've got, we're down to slow now. But yeah, I'm riding on that one, which I didn't think I was. We're, we're flipping miles away. Can I get a bit closer, please? In your own time. In your own time. I mean, that's a lot of... You've got your engines cranked up a little bit high there, I would suggest, given that you're currently docked. Okay, we've actually got four people on board. Ah, flipping Baywatch. Now, since we have got passengers, are they visible? I don't think so. No, I think this is more of a spirit vessel. Okay. Well, yeah, we... We occasionally like a spirit vessel. Right, sink it down. And uh, and let's enjoy let's enjoy the views. This is a view we don't get very often, so I'm actually I'm actually deeply thrilled. I mean look at the mountains going on there, it's nice. There you go. There's my little there's my little day cruiser. I think I saw someone wandering around on there, which was pleasing. Uh, the the sailboat's just over here. You can you can possibly make it out with your eyes. In fact, it ha it's still on its way out of dry dock towards its initial uh, initial low car. Uh, th this is going to play hell with the ticket prices for this stuff, uh, given the uh, the wide range of different transport opportunities people have. Go go! I I'd like to get a boat over to the island, please. Going to go? No problem at all. Jump on the next one. Going to go? Okay. Hope it's not the sailboat. I mean, it's a lovely journey to take, but it's not quick. No, but it's d delightful. This is good. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Now, see, when you see it from this angle, you kind of go, "You've this has got some challenging landscape with which one should work." And one has worked with it. Have I got the Have I got the speed cranked? No, this this is regular. This is slow. This is normal speed. Well, in which case, it, it it could just be some graphical action going on, but the tide is moving in a very mysterious way. I think that's just some graphical action going on. I think that's a very wobbly tide. Uh, ebbing and flowing at the same time, by the looks of it. Uh, it's okay, I'm not, I'm not perplexed. Now, if we're very lucky, we'll get an HST go past while we're in the glamour zone. It's like an Amazon but more glamorous. Wait for it. Come on, give me a train, give me a train. Train, 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 train. Come on. Train. Train. Come on. Oh, I've got enough on there. No, well, I think you've got three on there, and they run a really long way. And the reason you've got three is to maximise your profits. I and mean, if you wanted to maximise your trains, you could probably run five or six on there easily, and they wouldn't bunch up either. I'm disappointed. I regularly get lucky with this kind of thing, but clearly not today. Oh, gutted. I'm going to look over my shoulder as we leave. I'm just going to extend the window at which a train could appear. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Go on. Because we don't want to miss it. Go on, give me a train. Give me a train. Give me a train. You're disappointing nearly a dozen viewers. Dag damn it. Uh, you haven't paused those trains somewhere, have you? No. I took out a track and then I put it back in again. Also, also goes to show just how steep that track is. 
It's not something you'd see in the world. No, but it's a video game, and therefore you can see it here. Okay, well, uh, that is what it is. I'm going to jump off this one. Let's ride on something else for a minute. Uh, Sherm has decided that it now wants a new farm. Okay. Yeah. It's somewhat uh, it's quite pleasing. Riding on board's a little bit odd. Right, here you go. You're my next candidate. Seven passengers on board. No, again, I thought there was another one, but it, there isn't another one. We're going to get a whole fresh crack at a train rocking up. Well, it has to at some point, unless they're stuck somewhere, which they shouldn't be. Everything I've built here works majestically. Yeah, I am still closing in on the boat. It's just not very quick. Oh, San Horn. No, nothing. Boo! It's not a criticism, boo, that one. That's just generally... It's it may, Oh, there we go. There's a train. Well, that's not what I had in mind, but okay, it counts. I wanted to see the 125 go rocketing past in that way that it occasionally does. Are you sure you're looking at the right track? Yes. Really? Yeah. Are you sure that wasn't a bus? Oh, it, it could have been a bus, but it could have been one of those, you know, buses what like to drive on the rails type of affairs. Yeah. Okay, well, that's disappointing. All right. No, never mind. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's have a look at the actual state of affairs here. Uh, no, you see, you might have seen one of the uh, one of the disto burbs loops going on there. Yeah. Now the question becomes: How interested in you are doing anything? Ah, fifteen on board. Yeah, it's not great. But what we want to go and check is over here. How many people want to go out to the port? So we're looking for the, uh, there's 198 waiting for the Gaslands commuter. That's ridiculous. The port runner, four people waiting in total. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crank the tempo a little bit and see if that's, uh, that's going to be counted as normal. It's like a flipping bus convention here. Look, I mean, there's no consistency at all. You've just got a bit of everything going on. Ridiculous. All right, we just picked up all the passons. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Some of you want to go out to the port. It's flipping glamorous. There you go. There's a couple. Okay. Because, obviously, it takes time for your for your passengers to uh, to leave their, their origin point. Uh, to decide where it is that they actually want to go to. So we'll start to see people trickle down this way if they feel like the port is the place they want to go. Of course, they, they might just be thinking of going to the Grove, which is a delightful place, um, I'm sure, that many people go, oh, yeah, that's the, that's the way I want to go. But you see, if we get more people actually want to go out towards the port, it's a good sign because it means these boats are actually going to do something. All right, I'm going to wait for this this double decker just to do its drop off, and then we'll uh, we'll swerve out again. Right, swerving out. Let's go have a look at the tram, and then uh, and then we'll finish off by rising on a sailing boat. I know. Right, what do you got here? Three people waiting. I think you've got too many boats on there for starters. Uh, is the tram? It's got two people aboard. Whoo, we're rolling. Yeah, maybe don't roll quite so quickly. There you go. Tier 2. Tier 2 speed is good. There's the runway. Opportunity for a... Pl There's a house in the middle of the road. I didn't put it there. There's a lot of people waiting on that side. Ooh. Mega City 1, Poe. Yeah, you said it, buddy. Um... Yeah, I don't exactly know what that means, but, uh, but I'm glad that it's there. I just want the cheeky tail of a plane down the bottom there. Don't tell me you didn't see it. It was there for all to see, including you. Uh, right. Just done a quick... Uh, I just want to see how many we're going to pick up once we get to the, the terminus. I like this build. I, I, I like Mega City 1. I like what we've done here. It's a little bit of a shame that the, uh, the computer hasn't jumped on board a little better but maybe this will help uh, by providing an additional connection we've certainly got some tower blocks uh, going on there all right talk to me six off and getting on we've got zero 
Come on, you've just got off a plane. Surely, surely you now want to ride on the back. The, those two trams are still linked up. That's a good sign. All right, okay, all right, that's that's not quite working yet. Give it time. Uh, I think we get some AI builds coming down here eventually. I think this road might be tempted to try and snap on. You never know. We've got passage. We do have about a 65. And inbound, four. Yeah, it's, not, it's not perfect. No, very few things are. All right, there you go. But 65 is a good number. Right, now if we zoom out, let's see what the, the state of affairs is likely to be as far as turnaround time. I could have done it with just yachts, right? Because that would look kind of cool, uh, of having all the yachts going. But I think also it wouldn't look normal. It would uh, it would just look a bit weird. By having an eclectic mix of, of ship types, of, well, these aren't ships, these are boats, uh, of boat types, you uh, you end up getting something that is really quite naturalistic looking it's just people pottering around on a day out where they're pottering around like this where this clown is going far too fast leaving the yacht to uh, to suffer in its wake can we go down a little bit please thank you there you go yeah and he knows he knows how to work the wind and I'll, I'll tell you something for nothing i bet on the way back the wind's blowing the other way as will be evidenced by his sails there you go. That's it. It's a bit of a bit of a. Yeah, I say it's a one of these types of. Oh, we're about to get overtaken by some dirt bag in a speedboat. Is he going to drive straight through us, or will he do an excellent overtaking manoeuvre? No, straight through the back. I told you it's a dirt bag on a speedboat. Deary me. Plane. Yeah, and there's a, there's just a lot. There's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff here. Will I be doing another episode before we uh, before we round this up? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I couldn't tell you. Horn? Nothing. You could you could jangle the bell. That's something that you've been clearly into. But no, never mind. Alright. I'm in Colonel Failure. I'll catch you with something else soon. It'll probably be more of this. And Tram? That's quite nice. There's a lot of quite nice going on here. There is a lot of quite nice going on here. Apart from the shadows, which are quite mysterious. They're not not pleasing, but they're not... It's not real. I don't feel like I'm there. Alright, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.